simply put, management for some reason has been killed off by leadership. People seem to think that you're either a manager or a leader. And for some even worse reason, there is this connotation that if you're a manager, it's bad. You should be a leader, not a manager. No, you have to be both. Management skills. Management is day to day, week to week, month to month. Leadership is month to month, quarter to quarter, year to year type stuff. Leadership doesn't happen every day. What happens every day? Management. People say you don't. Because here's the great thing about business. Every day you're building your business to be bigger than it ever was. To do things you've never done before. Will that bring doubt? Yes or no? Yes! If you go to work every day with zero levels of doubt, you're probably going with zero levels of growth. You know, and I put it in a simple word. The word is, I get you all to call it out, everybody. Relationships. How well do you manage relationships? How good are you with relationships? If your ability to build relationships with suppliers, with bankers, with customers, with employees, to build good relationships is a very corner, it, it's like a cornerstone of being a successful business person. The ability to do business with someone for 10, 20 years is a very big part of business. If you're no good at building relationships, business will be tough because you won't have the repeat business. You won't have the long-term suppliers supporting you through bad times. You won't have. You've got to have that relationship ability. Now, when let's you say here's you, okay? And you look in the mirror and there's your problem. And you decide what I'm going to do is I'm going to run away from my problem. What's the problem with planet Earth? It's round. By the time you get back to your problem, it's not smaller, it's what? How are you going to handle marketing when you've got a hundred locations, not just one? How are the ads going to be placed? How's the social media going to work in a hundred locations? Is each location going to have their own social media manager or are you going to manage it from one separate location? How sales going to work when you have a hundred locations? Is each location going to handle their own sales? So all of a sudden I'm asking these questions, some of you are sitting there going, I don't know. That's the point. It's the thinking about this in advance that gets you to that level of thinking. Some of you are sitting there going, Brad, I just want the first location to work. I'd be happy with just the first location. Yeah, but there's no use building the first location without thinking this way because this is where you're going. We grow companies, we give people jobs, we do the hardest work there is out there. We build communities, one employee, one customer at a time.